Lastly, we have an idea where we can find a dependent system, a system that has an infinite amount of solutions. And how do we discover that by using the addition method? Well, go through our process. Step one, standard form, check. Step two, use our mathematical wizardry, our magic. What do you want to multiply to either the top equation or the bottom so that a term is eliminated? Looks like I want to multiply it by the top by a two. I could multiply the second one by one half. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's multiply this bottom one by a one half. So I have a new equation. Top one is a two X minus Y equals a three. The bottom one, I'm going to multiply that one half to both sides of the equation. Gives me a minus two X. Gives me a um, minus Y, a plus Y and gives me a three, a negative three. My terms drop out. They drop out on both sides and I get some type of a true statement. This time it says zero equals zero. Other times I can get, you know, six equals six or 24 equals 24. But the point is, is I got a true statement. Zero does equal zero. So that means that any solution for one equation is a solution for the other equation. And this is what I have or what happens when we have a dependent system of equations.